We are on the way from Milton to the Far Territory, and the muskeg has greeted me with reasonable weather, a few trolly wolves, an aurorified bear that I'm pretty sure just contemplated murdering me in my sleep, and uh, so far no cracking ice, which is nice. Hello Legion, this is Hadrian, thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series, where uh, I'm going to make sure that bear's not around. But um, we, of course, are fully rested at the moment, so I'm going to drink a little bit of water. Part of me is tempted to do a little bit more exploring here in the muskeg while I'm here, but the main reason that I came this direction last episode was really just to have a save point and to be able to safely exit. So let me just poke my head outside. If you missed what I'm talking about with that bear... Is it possible to sneak through here? That would be wild if I never knew that, but it's not. If you miss what I was talking about, while I was asleep, I think I slept in a position where the bear really tried to come into the train car. And obviously the fire stopped him, but I think he tried. Because you could hear him trying. You could hear how close he got, and I heard what sound like what sounded like like accelerated bear aggro noises, which is problematic. That is a wolf. That's a wolf, like, steps away from me. So I'm going to have to take a creative route, which might not even be possible. Oh, it is possible. Nice. Check that out. So we're going to sneak through here. The main reason that I'm doing this at the moment is just to look for additional metal. Also, coal, which should be in the area. Emphasis on should. We just can't really, until I know exactly where that bear might be, we can't really go too crazy. I might still have some things I can burn. I have some coal and a few sticks, but not a lot. It doesn't sound like the bear's in the immediate area. There we go. I would hear bear crows if there was an imminent threat, but I'm not just going to magically trust that everything's fine. Worn cotton scarf. There's that. Stacy's Grape Soda. More scrap metal. I do need to make some crampons, so that would be one reason for me to hang around in the muskeg for a bit. But my general objective is to continue in that direction. Man, beautiful sky with the Aurora tonight. Loving it. Alright, that's a little bit of wood, actually. So that's a lovely find. And that... Oh yeah, two pieces of wood. Fantastic. Alright, well that should be all I need to keep the fire going all night. And then maybe I can take a look at my clothing. And repair what I need to. Yep, I think we're good. Let's step inside. <laughs> now is where we find out if the bear is still around. But yeah, I think because I was standing up when I selected that role, I think the bear kind of saw me, tried to come towards... That. That's my theory, I don't know. I was all, like, I was completely asleep wall. Every single second of what I'm describing was happening. But I heard scary noises, okay? <laughs> it was intimidating. Alright. It does look like the condition on those rose hip pies is deteriorating pretty rapidly. Um, which I was told about, so I appreciate that heads up. I'm going to go ahead and eat these sardines while their condition is still somewhat manageable. And yeah, the main thing I can do right now... Let's harvest a few of the things I've picked up. And if the weather's good when I'm done with this particular night, I may indeed... There's the bear. Do you hear that noise? That's what I'm talking about. Now, I think the bear's trolling me because I don't actually hear it. And I mean, in the amount of time that I've just spent tearing those items down, there's no way the bear would patrol all the way back, like, closer to me from wherever he currently is. But it's just, you know, the game finding a way to give me anxiety at the best possible time. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. I'm behind a fire. Bear can't touch me. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. I'm not paranoid. Why would you say that? Okay, eight hours and one minute. Tell you what, let's go ahead and 
pass some time. Let's say three hours. And then I'll sleep as long as I need to. And hopefully, again, hopefully the weather's decent when I get up. There's no reason for me to mess around during this Aurora right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop the cooking pot down because I do need more water from this fire. And then as soon as I finish with this, it'll be a perfect opportunity to sleep for an appropriate amount of time. I'm going to go ahead and eat these bannocks before their condition degrades much farther. Same with these. Let's go ahead and eat these crude rosehip pies. We are going to get a headache from this. What, did that just... You see that? Did it just heal one headache and replace it with another? <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay. Alright, so that's almost done. Yep, past time. Alright, the bear is definitely fighting with the wolves. Okay, let's drink that. And it should leave me with enough to kind of carry around. Let's pick that back up. Now, of course, because I drank that stuff, I'm going to say sleep for two hours. We'll probably get about one hour of sleep. The sun is starting to come up. The weather doesn't look fantastic, so I'm not happy about that. Uh, we've got still plenty of time on the fire. Let's pass time for two hours. I do hear what sounds like the bear uncomfortably close, but I've been saying that the entire time I've been here, so maybe it's just all in my head. Maybe it's time that I admit that this is just happening in my head. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick that up. All right, I'm going to very quickly look around just to make sure. Because the worst case scenario is stepping outside of this particular bit of shelter, and the bear is like right on either side of you, which can happen. The bear walks by this door. Otherwise, I wouldn't be worried about it at all. All right. I can take a few torches off this fire, and I'm going to. Because I can afford to carry them around. So, I've started to kind of figure out, not only talking in comments with community members, but also just from how much I'm enjoying the travel so far, I've, I've started to kind of science out... There's the bear over there. Perfect. I've started to kind of science out how this process works with the travel law, because we know that the condition for the travel law is um, fickle, to say the very least. It doesn't last a particularly long time. Okay, just making sure there are no wolves in the immediate area. Doesn't look like it. Should be good to go. All right, let's head out this way. Bears over there. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring while I'm here. I think it makes sense to do so. And then we know where the travel law is, but that's the thing. With this Travois, what you kind of have to do is you have to take it from zone to zone as a way of carrying your stuff with you, but you're not bringing it with you everywhere. You find a spot, you find like a base location in a zone, which you, you do by default anyway, and you bring the Travois there, and then you leave it there, you know? And then the Travois is just there. And it makes a lot of sense. And it really is complementary in a lot of ways to my playstyle in a way that I'm excited about because I do like to bring things with me from zone to zone and I don't like to just leave stashes of things behind when I can help it. I do sometimes, but most of the time, if I can have everything with me close by, I'd rather have that. And the travel lot allows me to do that. It's just that if you bring it everywhere with you, its condition will degrade faster than you would like and then you have a problem. So that's where you have to be careful. All right, it's reasonably warm at the moment. Let's, uh, nope, there we go. Switch torches. I'm a little bit early on that one, but it's fine. Not exactly min-maxing my torches today. I'm not gonna worry about those cattails. I have skipped so many cattails this series. It's hilarious. Okay. So I'm mainly tracking... I'm looking for a couple different things. I want to see if I can spot what's hanging out at these carcasses, these corpses. We found a prop deer so far. 
but there's a distinct likelihood. Well, that's another thing, by the way. I'll get back to the travel I'll talk in just a second. The rocks reminded me. But there's a distinct likelihood of um, a human body with some loot that would be really nice to have. Let's run across here. Yep, yep, yep. Driving gloves. Torch. That is a full torch. Excuse me. Can I search you? There we go. Apparently I can only search your feet. Not just any grape soda. Stacy's grape soda. Okay. Nice thing too about having everything, like the, the bulk of my weight that I'm carrying right now on the travel law. I'm going to run across here. Don't you dare. Thank you. Is, well, that. The fact that I can sprint across these brief stretches because I'm not lugging a bunch of stuff around behind me. It allows me to function more. <laughs> Ironically, it allows me to be more of the long dark player that I get trolled a lot for not being because my habits are so, you know, focused around bringing everything with me that I'm usually walking around with more encumbrance than I thought. So one thing that I haven't done, speaking of like storing stuff, oh, there's a jerry can, and there's the encumbrance. See, I spoke too soon. <laughs> it's not that bad though. And we probably don't need to bring the jerry can with us, all things considered. Let's go ahead and just refuel. Yeah. The reason I'm even carrying the torch is just for a little bit of warmth. That's a lot of fuel, though. It would be nice to have that with me. I'm trying to think, is it worth carrying that much? Can I maybe eat some cattails to reduce my weight? I can do that. Hang on, let me make sure I light my perfect torch first. Magic. All right, there's that. That, of course, did save a little bit of weight. I am going to keep this jerry cone with me. So now now we are... No, 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 no. Uh-uh, didn't want to do that. That's rude. <laughs> the cattails move positions because they got lighter. They're going to do it again when they get lighter than the revolver in a second. So one thing that I have not done, speaking, as I was about to say a moment ago, speaking of inventory management, one thing I've never really messed with, even since it was added to the game, what, two, three, four years ago at this point? The stone, yeah, it's it's been, it's honestly been three or four years. Those stone caches, you know, where you can pick up a bunch of rocks, and I and I do mean a bunch of rocks. You need a ton of them. It's kind of ridiculous. But if you pick those up, and you have enough of them, you can make a supply cache. Where you can kind of see what's stored in a way that is very um, meaningful, in a way that's very useful. You can kind of just see at any point where you've left various things. And it's a nice way to kind of keep things. You can tell from the way I'm talking about this that I've almost never used it, because I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> but the reason I haven't is that it actually, it takes up a lot of space. Think about it for a second. One of the reasons that many of us have probably never messed with those is men. We've got to carry around all those rocks. We've got to build up enough stone in order to create those caches. Well, now we actually can. Now we actually can, which is wild to think about. By the way, did I grab my bedroll? Yeah, I did. It's wild to think about that. Like, now there's a reason to use the Travois beyond its the functions we've already been enjoying and talking about because we can put all the stones we pick up on the travois and slowly build up the capacity to build those stone caches. So now those are much more viable for me as just something to do. Not to say that I'm going to do it, but it, the main reason I haven't in the past is because of the weight. And now that's less of a concern, which is so great. All right, so there are a couple of wolves right there. I'm going to try to avoid them. The trouble is I don't think that there's a clear path across the snow or across the ice right here. I'm pretty sure this is approaching a point. Oh, actually, yes, there is. We're in good shape. Cool. Yeah, this is manageable. I can do this. It's going to be a little dicey, but not too bad. Perfect.
I'm honestly, like, I'm loving the... I didn't have a low amount of familiarity with the muskeg prior to 2023 and prior to the channel coming back. But now that the channel's been back for a year, holy crap, hello, what even is time? I'm definitely, like, okay, now this is where it's going to get spotty. Crap. So my initial... All right, there's a wolf over there. We could take a dunk here. I'd prefer not to. Uh, which of these is closer? That one looks slightly closer. I've spent a lot of time... You know, one thing I could do is I could leave the jerry can behind. That would make sure that I can run this. I'll drink some water. But I've spent a lot of time in the muskeg, and I, I've developed more of a nuanced sort of understanding of some of the paths through the ice, etc. Like, I, I've really enjoyed that. Okay, is there anything I can just drop? I'm almost wishing I didn't have those fire strikers right now. Oh, man. Alright, I can drop the driving gloves. That's not going to give me what I need, though. All right, so I need to just sprint this. Let's go. Really? Really? Okay. Speaking of nuance, today I learned that particular crossing there is the one to go with. That thin ice was extraordinarily brief, not a huge threat, and now we're almost to the forge. And if there's any decent loot in the musk egg, it's probably going to be here. Either the... Oh, wow, there's four wolves over there. Either that or the shed, which I don't think I checked in season zero when I was here. Bunk houses. Okay, let's have a look around, shall we? Real quick. Catch up chips. Okay, there's a burdock root. So I'm a little bit encumbered at the moment, but. As soon as we get that jerry can dropped onto the travois, things will be better. For those of you who are thinking back to what I was saying last episode, like, Hadrian, didn't you say you were on a beeline to the far territory? I totally am. It's just that it would be a shame not to explore the most high potential loot areas of the muskeg while I'm here. Because, I mean, I'm right here. You know? I'm right here. Why wouldn't I look? It makes no sense not to look. Also, let's check for peanut butter, shall we? Peanut butter? Peanut butter? Peanut butter? Peanut butter? Peanut butter? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so there are, I see a number of carcasses being circled by carrion crows. I'm gonna slip back here. This torch is almost gone, but I don't really feel like I need it too much. There's gonna be some wood at the forge. I'm not planning, I might be able to make my crampons finally, which is nice. That's one of the reasons I came this way too, is that I was very aware of the fact that I might be able to finally have those done while I'm here. So that I can cross that off my list. But then yeah, this is just a really high potential loot location and I would love to just be able to say to myself that I checked it out. That's all. And then we're going to keep going towards the far territory. All right. wood because I might need it in a second. I'm going to circle this house just to make sure I'm not overlooking anything. All right. Now the wolves are mainly away from here at the moment, but there might be another one because again, we have a stalker level wolf population here. So who knows? Nice water purification tablets. All right. There's some coal, some reclaimed wood. Oh, yeah, here we go. So I'm not necessarily... I'm going to pick a bunch of stuff up while I'm here. 
Whoa. Hold on. That's problematic. So I'm messing around with some different audio settings. <laughs> and I guess I just discovered in real time the consequences of that particular setting. So hopefully the issue's fixed. I'll have to check the recording after I'm done here, but this I kind of went in knowing that that's what I was doing. So it is what it is. For a second, I thought that was a woodpecker. <laughs> I was like, man, that woodpecker's going to town. Then it didn't stop. And I was like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then it was just me hearing it. But I would guess that that was in the recording, too. And if that was in the recording, there may have also been some audio artifacts, so... If you don't hear any of this episode, that probably means I had to go in and edit them out. Or we got lucky. That's the only downside of all the wonderful new... Oh, hang on. That is revolver ammo. Nice. Of all the wonderful new audio equipment that I have, it's not quite knowing all of the advantages and disadvantages of things. Alright, so... This pack is getting too heavy to carry. I am going to go ahead... Do I have a hacksaw already? Or is that my first hacksaw? That might be my first hacksaw. Let me double check. That is indeed my first hacksaw. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and dump some of this stuff in the forge. Not because I need the forge, but just because while I'm here, I can have the fire. And I can lose the carrying weight so I'm not walking around super slowly. Weighed down by all the stuff I'm carrying. So, start fire. Perfect. Okay, so that's all that I can put on the fire. I'm going to go ahead and drop even more, though. Because I am currently encumbered much more than I would like to be. Okay. Uh, did I pick up that? Yes, I did. Let's grab that gunsmithing book. Let's step up here. Scrap metal. I'll be using that momentarily. A note left behind. Good old backer 4783. We've read that one a few times in the recent months, so let's get past it. New wool mittens, nice. Alright, so it doesn't look like there are any extraordinary finds here. The only thing I found was the ski jacket, which of course I already have two better items than the ski jacket. That being said... I can definitely now make the crampons. So let's get those done. We've been trying to get those done for quite a while. At least with that particular audio artifact, I caught it that time. We had one happen in season zero where I couldn't hear it when it was happening. It was only on the recording end. And so people told me in comments in the episode, like, oh, by the way, audio's crap. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Today I learned. Okay, so workbench. Let's go ahead and make. Why do I not see these? Oh, I need cured. Oh, you jerk. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to make these in. Wait, actually, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have decent work gloves. And those driving gloves. Okay, you know what? No, I'll be good. I'll be good, because there, there are boots. There are boots. I've got what I need. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Audio's fine. We're fine. Trail boots. I do want to go ahead and break down this crate. Need to sharpen that hatchet before too long. Alright, let's check this safe. Speed style. Alright, so 56 or 57... No, 55, actually. 55. All right, that looked like 20. All 
55. Twenty two. Ooh, missed it. That looked like 41. 55, 22, 41. Or maybe 40. Nope, 41. Rifle cartridge, stem. Ooh, that was loud. Thank you for that game. There's some dog food back here. I'm definitely going to grab those. All right, there's fog rolling in. All right, so I can barely walk with this much gear. I know, I'm back to being encumbered. Everyone can start memeing on me again. So, let's go ahead and I got plenty of time on this. Let's harvest these. It's going to take an hour and 30 minutes for one piece of cured leather, but thankfully, it's not like a repair where there's a risk. Okay. I don't know why I went to the drawer there. Alright, thankfully we found the quality tools here. If I hadn't found those here, this would take twice as long. But now let me also, really quickly, a couple of things. First of all, let's consume some of that peanut butter, because it is heavy to carry that around. As happy as I am to, ha to have some peanut butter. Okay. Improvised crampons, quality tools. And we can't actually do anything special with this. We just have to ride through the crafting period, which is fine. Perfect. So we finally have those. I'm going to replace the wool ear wrap with the crampons, which is sad because I'll lose a little bit of warmth protection, but it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm not upset about it. All right, let me make sure that I have everything I need, and now I can uh, vacate the premises while I still have daylight, I think. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. We're going to pile some stuff back on here just in case I cannot vacate the premises. And yeah, I don't know if that... <sighs> hmm. I want to try and get this fuel back with me. It's just that it's going to take a while. All right, so right now, what would be the best path to do this? First things first, I'm going to need to drink all the coffee I've got. So let's do that. We'll get some caloric value from that, at least. Now we're a little bit um, better rested now. So anything that I can drop before I leave. I'm going to go ahead and drop the worn ski jacket. I'm not going to drop those. I will drop the wool mittens. I realize I could harvest these, but that would take time. And that's time that I don't really feel that I have. Anything else that I can justify dropping? The torches at this point I can drop. Uh, we can probably drop the scrap metal, to be completely honest but I don't think I will. Yeah, it's primarily the jerry can that's weighing me down. That's life. Let's drink that. Well, that didn't really help that much. All right. So we're going to be a little bit encumbered as I do this, but it looks like the weather is quite nice. So let's head out. I only have two arrows at the moment, the one I have knocked and one extra, because we still have to go find the arrow that that wolf stole from me. At this point, the carrion crows should help us find it, so I'm happy about that. Um, I'm tempted to check that shed real quick, but the wolves are probably close, and I would prefer not to tangle with them right now. Not because I couldn't handle them. But because, first of all, I don't have many arrows, so I don't have the ability to kill that many wolves. Um, so I can't really defend myself optimally at the moment. But beyond that, also, uh, the weather's really nice right now, you know? And I'm just looking at how nice the weather is, thinking, hmm, 
I should take advantage of this while I have the opportunity because I know where my travois is. I know that I'm weighed down by stuff that I want to put on the travois. Okay, so there's the shed. If I can get over there real quick, I'm going to do it. I just don't trust the wolves not to be in the immediate vicinity. And I don't trust the ice not to break beneath me when I take some of these wider stretches here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> uh, hopefully all this audio is even being captured at the moment. Sorry, I try not to do too much meta commentary on, like, technical stuff, but that was a noticeable audio glitch when that happened, so hopefully it all recovered in real time. First time that kind of thing has happened. That specific kind of noise. Okay. So... I do want to check out this broken house real quick. Although, truth be told... I'll take it. Alright, I'm gonna leave those mittens there. Oh wow, there's more here than I thought. New chocolate bar, nice. What I was going to say is, truth be told, I kind of don't want to. Alright, there's just some coal here. There is this one, this is the reason I wanted to check here. Because you never know what kind of goodies might be stashed in these secret this drawers. Come in handy. I don't need decent jeans, I don't need jeans at all. Alright, so, turns out not much. It's worth looking. I'm happy about it. We just need to keep moving. Alright, so... One of the reasons that I'm interested in this particular spot for loot is that... Alright, there's a wolf straight ahead over there. I think in the old loot tables, there's an asterisk right there. Because... What I'm thinking might not apply anymore, but I think there was a rifle spawn here. I think it was rare. Or it might be another tool that I'm thinking of that was here. Or it might just be that this is a nice little secret loot location. Yeah, see, there's a, a cooking spot and some other stuff here. So, here's a dead guy. So there's some feathers around. I'm not really seeing that there will be... Ah, oh, Polaroid. Nice. So it was worth coming here, at least. Alright. Scrap metal. Scrap metal. Yeah, no rifle. But we're, of course, still making our way back toward... Oh, there's some wood, and it looks like nothing else. That's fine. So we're still making our way back toward the, um... Travelock. There's two wolves. Love that. Love everything about it. Great. Great. Okay. Well, we are about um, 35 minutes into this episode. We're closing in on the 34-minute mark here. While I'm wandering... The weather's freaking great, by the way. Can we just appreciate that? But while I'm wandering this direction and trying to avoid the wolves... All right, there's, a, there's another one, I think, right there. Yeah, there's one... That looks like it... Might be a wolf, but I can't quite tell. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a dicey spot to end the episode, but we're going to stop this one here. Because I'm going to keep recording after this, but... In the next one... I am going to keep moving back towards the Travois. And then we're going to start traveling into Broken Railroad. By night, which could be a little bit interesting, but I think, you know, it's worth the risk. Because we've got kind of the stuff that we need. Plus, it'll just make things a little bit spicier, right? And we're going to keep moving towards the far territory, while still checking for a rifle in relevant locations. I'm nervous. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. For channel emotes and member badges, look for the join button to learn more. New episodes drop every day but Wednesday. Where are the wolves?
at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.